Hello everyone, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm High Lord Tamerlane, and this is a box for a song of ice and fire with a group that I have been eagerly looking forward to, the Followers of Bone. Now, full disclosure, I've never actually played a song of ice and fire, and I really don't actually have any intention to, but I do like a lot of the models that they've been making. So inside this we have three different basic sculpts and a champion as well if you're going to make a free folk army you would need this fancy base it is a nice that cool mini does include them and they're nice hard sturdy plastic they've got cards of some sort if you're going to play the game but more importantly Let's get to the figures. So, as I said, we have three main troop sculpts and the champion. Let's grab one of each to take a look at. All right. First up, so we've got our axe man. Now, you notice they are absolutely covered in skulls and bones, obviously, as the name implies. So, if you're looking for interesting chaos marauders, if you want to do some kind of a war cry band, if you want to do, what is it, uh, Path to Glory for Age of Sigmar or something, I think these guys make really, really awesome looking cultists. They are just bad looking dudes. Chaos Marauders, Cultists, Bandits, whatever you want. I think you can get a lot of mileage out of these guys. They got a lot of furs like the other Free Folk. I like this guy probably the most. I think if you scour eBay and you don't want to put together an entire unit, then you probably and use these guys as one-off models and then the actual champion with a sign and a rope full of bones skulls that's what they're called you can get the rib cage on the shoulder pad there and you know, he's even got some on his boots there nice so a lot of the detail doesn't really show up that well on camera and the funny thing is, it's really there. This is just like a lot of the other tabletop, board game, cool mini models. There's a lot of detail, especially if you take your time with it. How do they scale up to other models, though? Well, I actually painted some of the Free Folk Caveman Savages. Savage Cave Dwellers, I believe that's what they were called. And obviously, being humans, they're going to be about the same scale with their champion being a little bit taller. They do feel a little bit bigger, but that's more, I think, because the cavemen dudes were kind of hunched over. They would blend in rather well, and I think if you wanted to get kind of cheesy and mix all these guys together, I think they would actually mesh pretty well. You can put these guys as shock troops in the front, especially if you're gonna do like Kings of War, or some kind of crazy barbarian army. I think you can get a lot of mileage out of them with that. With modern GW in mind, we have our typical Human from the God Sworn Hunt from Warhammer Underworlds, and again, you can see he scales in pretty well. So, if you wanted to mix them together and do some kind of a Chaos Marauder war band, I think you can get a lot out of that as well. Let's see, do we have any other things laying around? So, my personal thing, like I said, I'm planning on using these guys more along the lines with like War Cry. Um, if we end up getting any kind of a Chaos Marauder, just to mix things up a bit. I think there's not enough models in there, and they're going to be used more in skirmish games than anything. So I think if you want to split a box with a friend, you probably can get a good deal. Most of these unit boxes seem to be going for anywhere between 25 to 30 bucks. So, you know, even outside of that, you probably could sell off the individual minis online as well if you're just looking for a couple. I'm sure the champion is going to be the expensive one. Obviously, there's only one in the box. So, cool looking models. I love the aesthetic. Maybe I'll use them for ghouls. I don't know. Hang out with the Ufik guys from Rune Wars. I mean, they all fit in size-wise. So, if you want to have crazy savages, I think these are probably some of the coolest options out there right now. So again, these are the followers of Bone. They work with the Free Folk Army in A Song of Ice and Fire from Cool Mini. And they should be available now because obviously I have them in front of me. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.